Hello everybody, Claudia Berlin here, and um, as you can tell my voice is a little bit better so I decided to make a vlog to check in with you guys. I said I might make this before Christmas and I've had an amazing Christmas so I am going to make it and it's basically a tiny vlog about what I got for Christmas and honestly I've been so lucky this Christmas, I cannot believe the amazing stuff I've had. I mean I had an amazing day and my presents were just am amazing, they're divine presents. I'm so excited to show you them actually. So, um, first of all, I want to show you what my grandma and granddad got me. So, there's four of them. There should be six, but we could only get four. They could only get four. But, okay, so this is Catherine of Aragon. Now, you might not know this. Well, you, you probably do know this if you follow me. <laughs> I have an obsession with the Tudors, and especially the wives of Henry VIII. So, um, I kind of collect things to do with them, especially Anne. Um, I have like a, a sort of teapot of Henry VIII on my shelf over there, and an Anne Boleyn Toby jug, and a load of other stuff. And I paint portraits of them and put them around. They're not that great, but anyway. So, um, this is a little Catherine of Aragon. And I got little Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is obviously my favourite and the most important, because Anne is so important to me. Um, she's not wearing her necklace in this, this necklace. But um, a lot of people ask me still um, if this is an Ugly Betty necklace. No, it's Anne Boleyn's necklace from her portrait. So, um, no, it's not an Ugly Betty necklace. But yeah, little Anne, my favourite. She gets pride of place on the shelf. Then I have Jane Seymour. I have a complicated relationship with Jane Seymour. Because, um, obviously being a, a huge supporter of Anne Boleyn, this is the woman that took her place. So I kind of feel like a sort of anger towards her but at the same time I respect her a lot because it was not an easy time to be a woman back then and she seemed like a really nice person actually so I think I'm being a bit silly by holding a grudge against her <laughs> sorry Jane um, and then finally I have Catherine Howard Catherine Howard is my second favorite of Henry's wives poor Catherine Howard was um, the second wife to be beheaded um, and she was guilty of adultery with a guy called Thomas Culpepper and possibly someone called Francis Derham. But um, anyway, so that's what I got for my grandma and granddad. They know me so well. I'll just show you little Catherine there. I really adore Catherine. She's just so sweet. But um, anyway, so they can only get hold of the four, so I'm looking for the other two. Um, and if I could get them, that would be amazing, because I could complete the set. Obviously, I am missing Catherine Parr and Anne of Cleves. And then there's my mum. Now, my mum got me the most amazing presents this year, and... Maybe to you these will seem really nerdy and like rubbish Christmas presents, but to me my face just lit up when I saw them. And I did actually order a couple of these myself, so I knew I was going to get them, but I'll show you them. So, I got this book here. Now this book here is called England's Queens, the biography by Elizabeth Norton. The private lives of the queens of England. Now as someone like myself who is obsessed with the queens of England and English history and especially the women of the time, this book is perfect for me. So that's one of the books I got. There's going to be quite a few books so um, if you want to skip this you totally can. Um, and then I got this book which is called Stephen and Matilda, The Civil War of 1139-53. to 53. I recently became quite obsessed with um, Empress Matilda. I'm told I say that weirdly. I know it's supposed to be Empress, but I say Empress for some reason. Uh, my mum pointed that out to me. But yeah, I really, really have this massive fascination with Matilda. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about her at some point. If you've seen The Pillars of the Earth, which is the... Um, it's the TV adaptation of the novel by Ken Follett, which I have behind me, but I don't think you can see it, but I've got it there. Um, then she's in that, if you wanted to have a little look. She's the mother of Henry II. And then I got this beauty. I was going to say this little beauty, but it's lovely and big, and it's a hardback. I got The Six Wives and Many Mistresses of Henry VIII, The Women's Stories by Amy Lysons. So obviously this appeals to me because it's the women's stories. I'm so looking forward to reading this. And another one. Uh, this one I have wanted for such a long time and I'm so glad I've got it. The Empress Matilda, Queen Consort, Queen Mother and Lady of the English by Marjorie Chibnall. Um, you know, I am really obsessed with Empress Matilda. She is very fascinating, especially from the time she came from. She was such a strong woman and she wanted to be queen in her own right. And unfortunately, because of the time she lived in, uh, people thought a woman wouldn't do well as queen. So her cousin Stephen was backed instead of her. And there was this massive civil war that went on for a very long time and tore the, the country apart. But um, yeah, I really am fascinated by Matilda. 
Uh, what else have I got? I've got three more to show you. I know I'm a very lucky girl. Okay, so I got this one. She Wolves by Helen Caster. The woman who ruled England before Elizabeth. So again, this is really, really exciting. Um, I think this has got like Elizabeth Woodville and Elizabeth of York in it and, you know, a little bit about Anne and that kind of thing. So this will be great for me. My last two. Queen's Consort. England's Medieval Queens by Lisa Hilton. Again, it's going by the same theme. I, the same theme. I don't really need to explain why this is so amazing to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still got a bit of a cold still. Um, and my last one, which I have already read, and I've already annotated quite a bit, but I'll probably go through and annotate. Actually, I think there's some post-it notes in it now. Yeah. And <laughs> um, this is the Anne Boleyn Collection um, Two by Claire Ridgway. Claire Ridgway is the woman who created the Anne Boleyn Files website, which if you are interested in Anne Boleyn, you must go on because I'm on there all the time. It is amazing. And this woman is amazing. Not just this woman, but also the woman who wrote the book. Um, and it's about Anne Boleyn and the Boleyn family. Now, at the moment, I'm actually starting a sort of project where I'm sort of writing about the Boleyn family, especially Anne and George. And um, I'm kind of doing it for fun, but maybe I might take it to a publisher if I get it finished. I don't know. I do it in my spare time. And this is just invaluable because it gives you the actual facts about Anne and her family. And um, it tells you what's fiction and what's fact. So it's, it's just... It's amazing, I love it. And I find that Claire Ridgway is such an intelligent woman and her books are really easy to read, but at the same time, they're, um, I don't know, I just, I find them amazing. I, I think this woman is incredibly talented. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about Claire Ridgway now because I've spoken about her a bit before and I don't want her to see this and think I'm obsessed with her. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you in this vlog, which is already way too long as per usual, is my present from my little brother. I say my little brother, he's actually my younger brother, but he's not littler than me. He's actually a lot taller than me now, which is very frustrating because I am three and a half years older than him. Um, but he knows me so very well and he got me this beautiful present. Yes, it is a figure of Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones. I will show you her. I don't know if you can see her properly. Oh, you can just see the reflection of the camera, how wonderful. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, here she is, and Cersei is one of my favourite Game of Thrones characters. He did try to get me Marjorie, but apparently there's no Marjorie. I have um, this love for so many of the women in Game of Thrones, but Cersei is my lioness. I call her my lioness, and I, I really do adore her. In the way that you can adore someone who is so villainous as Cersei. I think she's a victim of circumstance, though. Although that's no excuse for what she does. I, I don't want to excuse her behaviour, because she's very horrible to a lot of people, in including lovely Sansa, who is another one of my favourite ladies. So that was my personal vlog for this week, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll make another one next week, and I'm also thinking of a load of other videos to make, so if you've got any ideas, then, as always, please put them in the comment section, and I will take a gander and see if there's anything that takes my fancy. I feel like making a bisexual video again, because I'm getting a lot of asks from fellow bisexuals who are filled with bisexual rage, and I'd quite like to express a bit of bisexual rage in a video soon. But anyway, yeah, tell me what um, you want, and I'll see if I can make it. And also, no abuse in the comments, please. You can help me out by flagging any abuse and reporting it. Okay, I love you very much. I hope you had a great Christmas, and... Good luck for 2015. It's going to be my year. It's going to be your year. It's going to be our year. Okay, love you. Bye.